All right, welcome back. In this final video of our options section, I'm going to discuss some more advanced option trading strategies. So I'll really focus on three main strategies, covered calls, straddles, and spreads, although there are far more uh, advanced trading strategies out there than just these. All right, so let's start off with covered calls. So covered calls, these are a case where you own a particular stock or underlying asset, but you want to earn just a bit more in uh, income as a result of you uh, owning the underlying asset. So what you can do is you can actually write a call on this stock or other asset that you already own. So when you write that call, you receive the premium. So let's say our call premium is, oh, uh, $5 or $3 or whatever this is. Uh, so you get that premium, and this will increase your profit, so from the yellow to the green. The downside here is that if the stock price, the underlying stock price, rises above whatever the strike price is, you are very likely going to face a, a long uh, options position that decides that they're going to exercise that, that call option. So uh, when they exercise that call option, you are going to have to sell your underlying stock to them at strike price. So uh, obviously, if the, the stock price is greater than the strike price, you are forced to sell at whatever that strike price is. So you lose out on a large amount of gain here. Uh, so why would you use this uh, covered call strategy? Well, as long as the underlying stock price does not rise above the strike price, your actual profit increases from the yellow to the green line here. So the green line is your payoff, your profit under the covered call, whereas your yellow is your uh, profit or uh, profit under the uh, just owning the share, uh, shares of the underlying stock. Uh, and then your blue is just your call option. Uh, so you wrote this call option. Uh, so uh, ultimately, you're just trying to get a little more uh, pre uh, value out of owning these shares. You're basically just getting an additional premium. So you always want to be mindful you don't want to set the strike price too low here. Now, your straddle is essentially a bet on volatility or potentially against volatility. Uh, basically, you are going to buy a call option and you're also going to buy a put option with the same strike price. In this case, we'll say it's $21. So when you do that, essentially the only place where you lose money is right around the strike price. So if our blue is our call option profit and our yellow is our uh, uh, put option profit, our green is our total trading strategy profit. So as long as you're outside of $17 and $27, you are in the money. Now, why would you use this strategy? Well, if you take a long straddle, you're essentially saying that you expect that the underlying stock or other asset will be outside of that band right around the strike price. So it's essentially a bet that this underlying asset is not going to remain uh, the same value for very long. Uh, you can also take a short straddle, which essentially flips the green line. So with a short straddle, you would be betting that there's not going to be a lot of volatility. The only place where that would actually profit you is if uh, the stock price was right around the strike price all the way through the option through expiration. Okay, the final broad type of trading strategy have, we have is an option spread. And an option spread is a combination of two or more calls or two or more puts. And uh, typically... This is a way to profit from stock price increases. Uh, what we typically do is we would want to purchase a call with a strike price of, I'll well, say a lower value, like $18. And then we would write a call, in this case indicated by blue, with a higher strike price. Now our payoff structure is essentially a combination of these two. We uh, are out of the money. We're actually, we have a negative profit outside or below the first call option, or the first strike price. However, our profit increases and becomes positive once we get 
oh, about midway between the strike prices. So like I said, this is a way to profit from any stock price increases. Uh, a, you know, we can also do the reverse of this and just flip this thing, uh, but yeah. Okay, now what kind of additional payoff structures can we create? Well, I mean, we can have all kinds of different payoff structures. We've talked about long calls. We've talked about covered calls. Uh, so uh, we have also talked about the bull call spread. That's exactly what we just saw here, the bull call spread. We can also have a bear put spread. Uh, this is just the exact opposite here, uh, where we expect that the value of the underlying asset will fall below the lower strike price. We could also have long puts, and then we could have some more interesting combinations that I haven't talked about. Uh, beyond just straddles, we could have butterfly options, we could have iron butterflies, uh, so literally just the reverse of the butterfly. And then one of my favorite is the iron condor. Uh, this, I have a, an old office mate who uh, was very, very popular with the iron, iron condor trade back in the day uh, when we were sharing an office. Uh, so there's a lot of different option trading strategies that you can make use of depending on where you think the price of the underlying asset is going to be in the future. All right, so let's summarize. Option trading strategies are a great way for you to profit from your belief in the underlying asset value. If you believe that a, let's say, a stock is going to be very, very uh, volatile and have a an underlying share price well different than what it currently is, you would want to make use of a straddle. Uh, if you think that you want to just earn slightly more income, what you might do is you might make use of a covered call. And then if you're pretty bullish, you might take you make use of a bull spread, or if you're bearish, you might make use of a, a bear put spread. Uh, there's all kinds of other trading strategies out there uh, that get a little more complicated, but what I'm trying to em emphasize is that there is a world of trading strategies that allow you to make the exact trade that you want to make. So with that, I'm going to end, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.